Hey, welcome everyone to another session of the Daily Elastic Byte. And as you can see, we will have another Kibana edition. Uh, but today I want to deviate a little and I would like to talk about Vega and Vega Lite and its integration into Kibana. So let's start with the question of what Vega actually is. And Vega is a yeah, declarative format to create, save, and share visualization designs. And you can basically get data from an HTTP endpoint. But within Kibana, you can also just query Elasticsearch. And that's what we're going to do today. There are basically two flavors of Vega. One is Vega, one is called Vega Lite, which is a bit more simpler, but still extremely powerful. And at the end, it also compiles down to a Vega, Vega visualization. So what kind of things can you do with this? Let's take a look at, at Vega Lite, which we will use later on. And if we go through the example, you see that there's a ton of different charts that you can provide and create, like judging from those charts that look very similar to existing Kibana ones, to scatter charts, line charts, area charts, but also more interesting ones uh, like maps or uh, geographic displays or even interactive ones. The ones that I'm after today is a histogram, but a special one. I would like to use the histogram heat map today. So basically in this example, you see that people compare the ratings of movies for Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb. And I would like to take a slightly different example today, but come up with a very similar chart and also show something that is not possible with another visualization within Kibana. So let's take a look at the data model. You can see here I've prepared a cloud cluster. Um, I do have an index called commits, which contains uh, 59,000 commits from the Elasticsearch repository from the master branch from its first inception. We can probably take a look at the, at the first commit. And unsurprisingly, this first commit has been created by Shai uh, back in 2010. And if we take a look at the latest commit, you see that this one has been done this morning when I imported the da data by David, uh, by David, and he disabled some tests. So if we take a look at this commit data, uh, we see that there's a timestamp. So this clearly is a time series uh, use case. And what we would like to do next is basically come up with a query of who has done the most commits. And there will be a term segregation on the, on the author field. And we see that there's Simon, one of the co-founders, Jason, Martin, uh, and you can see sometimes your beta is there. Kim, she and Chai are actually the same person. And he would have been on the first place, but at some point he changed his, his name and his commit messages. So what I would like to do is I would like to show the commits for each developer based on the hour of the day. So we want to figure out on which hour of the day each of those committers are the most active ones. And if you remember, when you look at one document, you see that there's a timestamp, but we don't have the hour of the day. And the way we can work around this is by defining a so-called runtime field that only gets evaluated at runtime in the mapping of our commits index. And we can name this runtime field hour of the day um, and just extract the hour from the timestamp. So this would be a value between 0 and 23. And the next thing that we can do is we can execute this and basically get the data for each committer with a bucket for every hour of the day. So the date here is normalized as UTC. So all the hours are also in UTC timestamp but not based on the time zone of the committer. We will see in a second why this is important. But now back to Vega. So um, in order to go to Vega, the basic idea is that you can uh, go over here to our visuals library, create a new visualization, and pick out the custom visualization over here. So I did this as a first example, and I'm basically querying my commits index and create uh, just a date histogram. And this is the number of commits per year. Uh, we see, I think this is around 2015 and 16. There were lots of infrastructure changes to our commits, and this explains the rather high commit rate. So we would like to go a step further and try to come up with our visualization based on the author and the hour of the day. So what I did here was copying my aggregation in here, specifying the commits index, and running this. So this would be the first part of our visualization. And you can see here. Um, that I did a couple of extra steps to basically provide the data structure as it is needed because we have an aggregation within an aggregation. So what we need to do is basically um, flatten this data structure using the flatten transform. 
There's a couple of different transforms within Vega, how you can change the data and move it into the format that you actually need. And in case you're curious how your transformation works, there is a dedicated debug uh, tab over here, allowing you to see the incoming data from the um, search response, and then how the data looks like before it gets passed over to the visualization. And we can see here that we actually have a my data key, which is the hour of the day, and the my data doc count, which basically is the value for each hour of the day, how many commits have been done. So when we now go further, you see that there's the, the different developers listed again. And we have uh, 50 developers and 24 um, hours of the day. So we end up with 1,200 buckets and 1,200 values over here. Another nice part is you can take the spec and copy and paste it into the Vega editor on the Vega website and then start debugging there. There's a nice editor featuring auto completion. So you're not reliant on Elasticsearch. You can just take this response, which contains the Elasticsearch response as well, uh, and test and debug your Vega visualization over there as well. So there's one weakness with this point of view. We see that there's a couple of developers which have uh, a certain pattern, like Simon, like Martin, like Jason. Uh, the reason is that right now we compare the total number of commits in each row with the total number of commits of Elasticsearch. But what we really would like to do is we want to compare every author line by itself. The reason for this is that if an author doesn't have so many commits like Simon or Jason or Martin, we still want to figure out properly at which hour of the day this developer commits the most code. So in order to do this, we need to add an extra transform over here. And that one is a so-called calculate transform. And this way, we basically take the total number of commits for each author and divide it by the number of commits for each hour. So running this update script, where I also flip the X and Y axis, allows us to see where each author was basically doing most of the work. And there's a couple of interesting insights here. Uh, basically, there is a certain developer that apparently is committing most of his work, about 40%, uh, within two hours of the day, um, uh, probably an early morning riser. You can see that there's often a switch between six to nine hours, uh, which basically is the difference between uh, US East Coast, US West Coast time, and the European time. And also, if you look down here, uh, there's Tim, who's basically based in the APEC time zone and has very different commit times. So, I mean, what could you do with this kind of information? Uh, you could basically maybe figure out if you want to run less CI slaves at a certain point in time because there's not so much busy work happening, uh, or if you want to spin up those things. And uh, one more thing that we can fix now is basically um, fixing those tooltips because the tooltips here contain uh, the key names of our aggregation and the sum of the relative calculation, which doesn't really fully help us. So let's take one last step and improve our tooltips by adding a tooltip field here in the Vega um, description. And by running this one more time, uh, the legend here is also removed because it wasn't really useful. But hovering over something, we can now see the hour of the day and the percentage of the total commit this person did based on the hour of the day. Yeah, and uh, you can see here, uh, pretty much I'm living in the European time zone. So I've done most of my commits uh, over the course of the day here. Um, but when we change, for example, the, the time over here, we see that uh, I fell out of this list because I switched teams. Um, but you can also see that other committers basically took over here. So you see how the team changes over time. All right, that was the introduction into Vega. Um, this is just really a tiny portion of what you can do with Vega. There's lots of more transforms, um, especially number-based as well. Uh, you can also have lots of different, aggregate, uh, of different visualizations, which allow you to come up with uh, very different graphics. If we go here back here to our examples, um, take your time to go through those and see if there's any visualization that is not possible with something like Kibana Lens, and then go from there and probably come up with your, with your Vega-based visualization. All right, that was it for today. Uh, we will be back next week with five more series about Kibana before we finish the season. So I hope to see you next Monday. Have a nice weekend and goodbye.